guess what? It's Tuesday night and we are live. Guess who is joining me? Mitch from Stone Coat Countertops. Happy to be here, Rhonda. Just sat through another class and caught a fly <laughs> trying to land on my nose. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Just had a pro class. I stick around. We're making projects projects like crazy. What Tell us what we're doing today. Uh, I don't special. know, actually, no, what we're doing today. None of us know. Um, so, Keith McGinnis is also here, and he decided that he was going to um, shake up our live and mix us up some colors, <laughs> and we were going to have to come up with something. So, I, I, I'm kind of scared. I don't know what's going to happen, that but uh, challenge accepted. All righty. I accept. All right. That okay. Can get hairy. Here What's he, he comes. I cannot tell you. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. <laughs> All right. Come over on this side. All right. All right, so. Introduce yourself. Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. Honored to be with these two. It's been a fun week. It has. Look at this. All right, so you're going to get some of the same colors, and then let's you're, you're, you're gonna split, split it up, huh? Yeah, so. You have special colors mixed up for each of us? Yeah. I'm and liking what you got. I'm, uh, thank we you have some going. Alumalite opaque brown dye. Alumalite opaque brown. Okay. We have, I don't have a mic. We have some copper mica. Mmm. Copper for the win. I love, I'm, a, I'm happy so far. We have some dark bronze mica. Keith, you know how to pick colors, my man. You both are going to get some pearl white from Just Resin. Ooh, that's my favorite. one of stuff. my favorite colors. Yeah, me yeah. too. I just discovered that here this week. All right, Mitch. I'm going to throw you a little twist here. And mm. you are going to get some reef blue. Hey, reef that looks blue. turquoise. How come he's getting turquoise and I'm not I getting thought, turquoise? That looks a little blue earthy to me. And Keith watches my videos, I think. You watch, you watch Don't Go Blue? <laughs> no, he's not playing all there. All the time. He knows that this is probably one of my most favorite colors of all time. But where's this from? This is different than blue earth. That is, I believe, just resin. Yep. Yes. That, that is, that is from Just Resin. What's the name of it? You remember? Reef Blue. Reef, Reef Blue. Blue. Okay. I'm just excited resin, about that. You You'll have to come in here in a minute, Kenny. Yeah, I'm going to show them. Just put them all there and we'll... Rhonda, you've got some Starlight Violet. Ooh. Purple? And... <laughs> I rubbed it off. <laughs> <laughs> a mystery... You have a mystery nope, color. There it is. Oh, wait. Just... No, wait, resin art, something nope, autumn. Nope. Oh, that's the autumn. Stuff. Autumn, okay, it's, mm. it's resin art? I'll find out, no. Okay, I think, no, <laughs> I'll it's find not resin. Out. Yeah. Okay, I'll go look. we'll find out what this one is. <laughs> Alrighty. Look at that. Surprise! Is that more than one thing ah, in there? Okay. You know what that, oh, oh. How oh. much is in there? What is it? Are you going to share that with him? No. Is there what? any community? Look at how pretty that so, is. So, I don't know, what did you put, all, it looks What's like there's there? brown in there. There and there's purple. Additive? Okay. So there's a purple in there, it looks she's like. She's not going to share. So I'm going back to the lab. Mm. And I'm going to come up with a special glitter a concoction little bit of for, me. for you. Okay. All right. So uh, what is this one? Look. It looks like it has like a, a copper. A copper. I will tell you. Yeah. A copper glitter, it looks like. There's a purple a, in a, there. A bronze. Oh, look. There's copper. a little bit of. Okay. He did give me a little turquoise. Look. I look at the little it. tiny turquoises did in there. Did he use mm. the halo in there? Oh, maybe know. it's Halo. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> he's going to find out. All righty. Well, let me so, see your colors. All right, so I have brown opaque dye, which we both have, and it's tinted fairly opaque. Put it down. Okay. Fairly opaque. All righty. And that's a non-metallic. And then we have, what is this one he said? Copper. copper. All right, we have copper metallic. Mica. It's a mica powder, so this one's, uh, yeah, so th these are all available on our website. Mm -hmm. uh, then he said, what is this one? Dark bronze. Dark bronze. Oldie but goodie. Yeah, dark bronze mica powder. And then we both, and we all have those four colors. It's the accents that are different. Okay, and then white. From uh, uh, just, just resin. resin That's pearl, pearl white. 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 Uh-huh, I'd stick my stick in there, but it's dirty. Mm -hmm. Um... 
And then I have, he's looking at this, but I think it's the autumn, either resin art or bling it. Autumn something, and he's finding that out. Ooh, that's pretty. And then just resin, shimmery violet or something, he said. What did he say? Oh, wow. Something I violet. Know. That was going to look really Yeah, I we're going to, we'll, we'll find out. That. We'll find out what that violet is, that too. That's beautiful. Kind of a purpley color. And the only thing different I have is this. I already forgot the name of it, but. The blue. It looks a lot Reef like blue. Reef blue. It looks a lot like blue earth, but oh, wow. more darker. A little darker it's blue. It's got the black in there. Yeah. This looks stunning. Oh, wow. Let's do this. And this is way out of my wheelhouse on these colors. Keith, appreciate you not bringing us like uh, neon colors, bro. This is going to look fantastic. This, I don't think okay. we can screw this one up. I don't think so. No. All right. So we're going to we're going to just do it all kind of. You go on your route. I'll go my route. There we go. So all right. what are you going to do? I'm just gonna kind of meld mine together and then play with it. I'm not real sure. Right. All right, so I'm putting down the dark bronze first. No, no. Are we gonna go I, one at a time? Yeah, I lied. I put down the brown, okay, brown dye. dye first. Okay, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of this in my cup. Then I'm gonna put down the copper. And I'm gonna kind of put it in just different areas. I'm not going to put everything over it. I like the pre-fogged board, too. Yeah, so Keith even prepped our boards. So, so it looks like he did some colors prior. Alright, so that was the copper. This is the dark bronze. I'm going to add a little bit of it over there. <laughs> okay. That's dark bronze. And I'm going to add a little white. I'm just going to add a tiny bit. I'm afraid that, you know what, I'm going to add white last. After you melt? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to come in here with my accent color just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to save a little bit of that. And then mm. I think I'm going to wait on my purple too. So I'm just, because I don't, I don't know how bright that is. I don't want it to take over anything. All right, so I'm going to heat it up just a bit. Why are you heating it up? That helped me meld it, right? Yeah. Yep. So I heat it up a little bit just to kind of when I run my hand over it here in just a minute, um, I can get it to kind of flow a little bit. Ooh. All right, here it goes, guys. I got a special weapon now. Uh-oh. What? Oh, my gosh. Look, he gave you... <gasps> Purple and blues. Oh my gosh. What is that? What chameleon? Is that? That's chameleon. And something else. Oh wow. That it that pops. Yeah, that's gonna go good with this color scheme and that yeah. blue. Ooh. What the heck, Keith? You gave that, him all my colors. But right there, that already looks awesome. Alright, so I'm loving what is this. It? Chameleon and blue sequence. Chameleon and blue sequence. Alright, so. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more white, and then I'm going to let mine set for a little bit, and then, Mitch, you're okay. going to start adding yours. I am going to add... I was scared to add too much white at first. You can you just over-meld it, you think? Yeah, yeah I was afraid right. It would probably it, just disappear. Yeah, yeah so I want to just put white ever so often. I don't want, oh, I don't yeah. want to put it... That. I don't want to put it all over my piece. Mm -hmm. A little bit here, Look, maybe. That's a dark patch of brown there. Yeah, Okay. All right, so I'm done with the white for right now. All right, I'm going to let mine sit and let Mitch get his on. All right, here we go. I'm going to lay mine out almost striated instead of the angle. See the difference. That was the copper. A little bit of brown dye. Dark bronze. Right, I'm going to put my white on too later. Kind of scares you to put too much white at first, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. That, I'm telling you, that brown 
is one of my very, very, very favorite browns. Me too. Have you ever done just a raw drizzle in like a dirty pour? The brown? Yes. And how it lays down and then kind of goes. Go yes. Ooh. Very pretty. That's cool. I like having big open patches like that of mm -hmm. the brown. So pretty. So I'm just taking my time. I'm trying to, when I do striated, I don't like to do this. It'll show up. So I'm trying to keep it in a uniform stack stone look. I just went to the slab yard before I left here for some B-roll of a project. And whew, it is nice to go into a slab yard and get some creative ideas. It is cool. I took those, like, I, I busted out the camera and I'm like, is it okay to record this for my wife? I'm going to show her some granite. I'm thinking I'm going to buy it. <laughs> but first thing I did is change my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and they were cool with that. But what they didn't want to do is talk money with me when I was on the camera. No? No. They didn't want to talk prices. Huh. I wonder why. I don't know. All right. There's that. I'm going to add a little white now. I'm gonna have my white vein come up a little bit. Oh yeah, you have like it going through. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. There you go. So you're gonna go with your secret sauce yet? I think I'm gonna put a little bit in there. I'm just starting with a little bit to see if I even like this. <clears throat> like this. Oh my gosh, that uh, is a yeah, gorgeous I like it. blue. Wow. Wow. So then if it's a little too bright, I like to pick it up and walk it other places. Yep. Just with my hands. No fancy tools need. I haven't touched my edges yet, though. All right, Rhonda, you can take over. Uh, what are you going to do next? I'm going to okay, just let this I sit like I'm you did. I guess I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit more. I had a little bit left of that autumn color. And I'm going to kind of bring it in a few more places. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like that color with the colors that I already have. And it and it, and it works. Mm, I like it. It does. All right. So now here comes the scary part. Yeah, I'm going to put the purple in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. So I added some purple. I'm going to run my hand. Ooh, that's pretty. It's not like a crazy purple. No, that you can't really see it. It's skin. like a soft purple. That's wow. part of the battle here is picking the colors. And Keith, you did us a favor, my man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I went a little heavier with that purple. I think I'm really liking it. Oh, look, look. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it on my hand. And I'm going to drag it with my fingers. Oh, yeah. Look, it's just... Look, well, I'm going to put this right next to that real dark brown. Look at that right there. And play with it. Look. Ay, ay, ay. That's so pretty. Okay, so I'm not quite so mad at you now, Keith. You <laughs> <laughs> can't really see it. Well, it's just, it's just subtle. Is it it's, hard to see on the camera? Yeah. It's there. It's it's there. I know, it's there. It's showing up. All right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is... Um, all right, so you guys know I like to use the Bondo spreader all the time. So I'm going to actually come in here with, I have a Bondo spreader over here. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to kind of, now I would do this, honestly, I would let my piece sit up for about 30 minutes before I would do this, but obviously on a live, we don't have time to do that. So I'm having to kind of do it a little early, knowing that this pattern is probably not gonna stay as still and as distinct as I want it to stay because it's still very, very fluid. So I'm just kind of chopping, and as I chop, I'm gonna torch this so you can see. As I chop, <laughs> I'm kind of turning my Bondo spreader. I'm dragging and turning. And that's really leaving some really cool. Look at that. Ooh-wee. That's pretty. 
And what it's also doing is kind of waking up that mica as it, as you put mica on the surface, immediately those particles start to sink. Mm -hmm. So as your epoxy starts to thicken up, and then you do this, it kind of revitalizes those mica powders and it brings them back up to the surface. It's not over melding it. No, all. I'm it's really, really not. I'm just kind of dragging it a little bit. Sometimes I'm almost heavy handed where I go to do this step and I'm over melding with my fingers. So this is. Yeah, this kind of gives you a way to kind of mix it. Mm -hmm. But by twisting at the same time that you put it down, it kind of brings some of that, those mica powders up to the surface. Hands up. All right, I'm going to leave it for a little bit and I'm going to see cool. if it'll start that to That looks set. really pretty. I'm going to add a little more of my accents. And this bling. Man, that is a beautiful blue. Wow. Let me see what this does. Well, you got to go big with that one. Copy. Mm hmm. Could do that. No, we can't go home. We're not gonna let you. Oh, I know. It's been so fun. <laughs> Today's my last day out here. It was epic. So today, um, was gonna we were gonna work really hard in the shop. We ended up doing a um, a shower install. So it turned out really pretty. We were glad Mitch got to join us. Look at that. Whoa. That is, that is absolutely cool gorgeous. Look at effect. that. Good color choice. Look, Mitch. man. <laughs> Keith, you did good. You did do good, Keith. Keith. Your mic. Your mic. Your headset. Your t your phone. Maybe something there's volume. Oh wow. I don't think I'm gonna miss it. Ooh. I would normally would. Like Rhonda, you let this epoxy thicken before this step, but you can also do it a couple times. You just need to let the uh, alcohol dissipate. So I'm gonna go heavy in my hand. The old Italian drip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned this in Rhonda's class. It's awesome. She starts big. I usually just make it rain like this, and then you go small. And the different size droplets. It just gives you so much depth when you go the larger <laughs> drops first and then come back in and fill in with the little drops. Mm -hmm. Let Beautiful. that dissipate. Mm -hmm. Pass back to you. Oh boy. I'm... Okay, well, I'm still a little bit early to be doing a whole lot. I, I, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, guys, wow, that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It is. I love what you did with that bondle spreader. It's laying. Wow. Yeah, isn't that pretty? The pearl in there is like, looks like it's a almost like inch brown. Thick. Yeah. So, this guy's could be a finish all on its own. How about that? Um, mm -hmm. Watch your mic in here. Yeah, I know. Um, so, honestly, if I were doing this as an install or I was doing this as a piece that I was going to keep, I literally would walk away at this point and probably um, not do anything for a good 30, um, probably 30 minutes or so. Then, at that point, all of this would be really starting to thicken up. And then after about 30 minutes, I would come back and I would do this again. And it's it like I said, it's a little early to be doing this, but I want to show you what I would do if we were 30 or 45 minutes down the road. I would be re-chopping and sliding. Now, see how we're getting these little bitty tiny fractures right there? I don't know if you can see that. Let me hit it with a torch. The way I'm getting those is by chopping and sliding. So I'm chopping and sliding. Mm -hmm. See how when I slide that it's picking up a little. It's picking up mm -hmm. those little pieces. And that's how I'm getting mm -hmm. the little fracture lines. And as that thickens, it's even tighter. Right? Yes, mm -hmm. and as it starts to thicken up, 
those lines will get, I can actually lift up my Bondo spreader and those strings are all like a half an mm -hmm. inch long. And as I stretch them, they will really create some good designs. It's cool to watch. Just by, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of mesmerizing actually. And I'm really not over melding my colors. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm being really careful about. I don't want to over meld my colors because I'll end up with one dirty looking brown board. Mm -hmm. And I find that this really works well when you're using mica powders because you kind of wake up those mica powders. Look at that white, how it's making a pearl effect. Holy mm -hmm. cow. The purple in there is goes right with it. Yeah, it does. I'm so, wow. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my secret sauce. Oh, you hadn't even put that in there. Huh? No, here comes my secret sauce. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna come in with my mm -hmm. my bling. And I'm just randomly kind of putting in mm. bling. And this would be something, I guess, I mean, if you don't want a lot of bling, I can't imagine which, what are you doing with your life. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want that bling, you definitely don't have to put that in there. But I'm just randomly kind of putting it down. I like to, when I lay a vein down, I like to come back and then just kind of miss that vein. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> Very. I want to know how many, what do y'all put in that? How many glitters? Oh, I know. So we need to ask. There. It can't be just one product. I know it's not. That's what I'm going to say. I guess I need to go ask Keith what all he put in here. It's real pretty. That's showing up good on camera? Yeah. Is it? I'm going to run back there and Guys, see. Guys, let us know where you're watching from. Yes. And how long you've been watching RK3 Designs on YouTube. Yeah, let me know, guys, if you guys are new. Put some thumbs up. Yeah. Press the like button. All right, tell me. Oh my gosh, look hey, at this. Is this not gorgeous? What do you want to know? We want to know how many glitters is in this secret sauce. I'm gonna over walk here. back there and see what kind of glitters. It is pretty. Yeah, let me see. Some of those I don't have labeled. Man. Can I play with it while you're No. That's pretty. I'm gonna do maybe some fracture. <clears throat> I have a little bit left over of my my earth tone, so I think I'm gonna drizzle a couple fracture lines with that, and then add my blue. Okay. All right. So there's four different containers. All right. So there's four different containers that are open. It's the red bronze glitter the bronze galaxy glitter turquoise glitter and what was that other one that was open uh purple purple glitter those are the four colors wow Woohoo! that's pretty wonder what would happen if i kind of melded some of this let me see what would happen all right, guys, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some right here and I'm gonna take my bond spreader and I'm gonna shake. I'm gonna see. I don't know if I like that. Hey, tell me if you guys like how I'm doing the Bondo with, the glitter with the Bondo. I don't know if I like it or not. I think I kinda like it. I hadn't decided. What do you think, Mitch? I'm gonna, mm. Do you like how I kind of, if when you go over the top of that vein? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I like it better just straight instead of chopping it with the vein. I don't know. The cool part about doing samples, you kind of have to level those up. Mm -hmm. Especially like you're going to do this for a customer. Make a few of these. Show your customer. And then record what you've done so you know what not to do on the ones they don't like. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to hit mine with a... I don't They're have any alcohol. They're telling you to walk away. Me? 
Yeah. Okay, I want to hit one piece with some alcohol and just see what it does. Okay, okay I'm just gonna. Okay, show just them this side. All. Nope, not gonna do the whole thing. This is the side I'm, that's not gonna have any alcohol. This side I'm gonna hit with just a tiny bit of clear. I don't want to mess yours up, mm -hmm. Mitch. You're okay. Okay. All right. All right, let's see what happens. I we'll have to let that kind of do its thing. All right, so they're telling me to walk away? Yeah. All right, I'm going to walk away. Ooh, look at this. So I love adding alcohol to mica powders because you get that really cool look like you're getting right mm -hmm. here. Oh, my gosh, that's so pretty. I didn't like my bling so much. No? You didn't like your bling? What's wrong with you? I don't know. It was sticking out to me. It's all right. Mmm, I love me some bling. So I just laid a little copper over it, and I liked it more. Where you see a little bit. I think it needs some big blobs of it. Big blobs of it? Yeah, big blobs like maybe of some, I mean of a... Uh, you know, like... A big old... A big old blob? Pass. Yeah, see, something like this. Ooh. You know, just kind of somewhere like a crystal of it mm-hmm that's a cool idea what do you think right here yeah yeah and then I'll meld that a hair what about even putting a little whoa what are you doing, <laughs> they told me to walk away but I can't I don't like I don't like how it looked like with that alcohol on there so I'm going to re-chop it. Oh, I don't like that tail I just did. I'm going to miss it. All right. Yeah. Here, show him here. Hold oh, on. Oh, I didn't. I thought he was going to wait. There you go. Wow. Watch your... It's gonna happen. Yeah, see, that kind of melded it well with that alcohol. Yeah. Cool. Good yeah, call, like Kitty. That. Might do another one. All right, so I did not like mine misted. So I'm coming back and I'm re dragging mine. Just where I, I'm only dragging it where mm. I hit with the alcohol. about that way now. There we go. Alright. Rhonda's making bubbles. Oh, honey. Alright, so I re-drug mine because I didn't like what it looked like with the misted, mm -hmm. with the misty. I put some more glitter and I chopped it just because I wanted to bring it back to where it kind of looked like before. Mm -hmm. But because I had a bunch of glitter when I chopped it, it kind of put this glitter in little pockets. I like that. It's kind of looking cool, right? Yeah. I like that. I can't promise you that I'm going to stop, but I'm going to try. You got to. Kenny tucked me into making a blob vein, and I like how it turned out. A blob vein? Is that a like technical this. term? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A new one. A new one, okay. And then just muter it out and then you're good to go. Muter it out. Get it mutered. And then alcohol it. Yeah. And then it does the hard work for you. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. It, I'm loving that bling. Mm -hmm, that you're is right pretty. about the bling. I didn't like the spider vein bling. Yeah. Yeah, it but needed that, to be a little bigger. 100%. I like it. I do too. But Apparently. some of the spider veins look good in it. Mm -hmm. I should have kept the copper only because I'm not the biggest fan of the blue one running right across it. But at this point, if I wanted to eliminate that vein, guys, I would lightly meld it down and then mist it again one more time. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That, that, that's kind of what I did. I just, when you don't like something, I mean, you can just a little bit of a technique mm -hmm. can kind of hide what you did. Right. Right, so. and that's kind of what you're learning. I saw your students learn at your class. Yeah. You're, you're teaching them multiple little techniques that they apply to this project. Then you go to project two, but technique one will still apply to project right. two. And what's really cool that we do in our classes 
is we teach not only on small areas, right. okay, no. so that we can teach a technique and they can see the colors. Mm -hmm. But then we also teach on large countertops. We only and we also teach how to fabricate. So we're not only teaching how to pour over an existing countertops mm -hmm. that are already in someone's house. We're actually teaching how to fabricate your own, how to do rock edges mm -hmm. correctly, how to get your epoxy to bond to different substrates correctly. So, yeah. guys, we give you a whole bunch of stuff. But, holy cow. Same colors, completely different. I really pieces. like this. Keith. Yeah. Man, you may have right. a new a new finish here to add to <laughs> our repertoire here. Um, show them really quick what I did. So, because I already had veins running and then I re-chopped it, this glitter got chopped in and it's not quite, it's not really mm -hmm. a vein right. like the veins over here. So let me know on, on my guys, on mine, do y'all like the side A, I'm gonna call it, or do you like side B? Do you like the veins chopped in with the glitter or do you like the veins to be a little bit more distinct? Let me know, A or B. Rhonda, also explain there's a lot of people who are saying to walk away. So yes. Also explain how many different designs you created in that period of time. Yeah, so honestly, guys, um, I know you y'all were telling me to walk away. I could have walked away at the very, very first step that I did when I melded it with my fingers. That right there could have been a that could have been a finish on its own. Then when I chopped it with the bondo spreader, that could have been a finish on its mm -hmm. own. So, it's really important when you're creating to video yourself so that you know when you've gone too far. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to recreate a finish, I can go back, and I do it all the time. I actually watch my own videos to, to see how, to, how I create something so I can recreate it for a customer. So, if you guys are in, the, in your uh, workspace playing around and and um, just experimenting, set your phone up mm -hmm. and, and uh, video yourself. That way you can recreate, just talk to yourself, you know, just mm -hmm. be silly, talk to yourself. Keith does it all the time. Mm -hmm. He has a full conversation with himself. And then he so. publishes it for everyone to see it smoothly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, I, man, that is gorgeous. That yeah. blue is Amazing. It I love is. it with that copper. I do too. I so thought I added too much at first, but then no. you layer white, but it goes so well with coppers. And it's layering and layering. Mm -hmm. You just didn't stop. You kept layering, right. and I love that. Golly. Right. And I kind of stayed striated for yeah. most of the time, did right? that little crooked vein. You'll see that naturally in stone, most of it flowing this way, and then it chunks. Ever, it goes kind off of that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. When Mother Nature was making it. That's this was right. fun. Good job on the color scheme. All right. All right. Hit the. Hit the lights on this side. Oh, okay, yeah. That's and then we'll that do. way they can see it pretty good. We'll see you how that works. Square. Oh, all right, copy. Wrong side. Maybe if we turn both of them off. Turn them both off. Mm. Let's step back because all they'll see is us. <laughs> well, they look pretty. We started out with the same thing. The only thing different was like three ounces of epoxy that we used of accent colors. Each, yeah. Right? And right. they're so different. Yeah. So practice with colors, guys. That's a pro tip. You never know what colors are going to go so pretty together until you slap them on a board. Like, I was nervous about the purple, but look at it in there. I was it's nervous about awesome. the purple. I think he was trying to set me up for I paid, failure. I paid Keith off. At least 20 <laughs> bucks to do that. Per color. Per color. color? <laughs> well, it backfired, didn't it? It did. Because it looks gorgeous. They they do. This is great. This was fun, Keith and Ron. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Look at that. <laughs> that purple almost turns into almost of a grayish color. Yeah. With the pearl, right? Yes. It almost has a you could you could so do Ooh, this with gray wine. walls right. oh my gosh yes you could a little purple accent and yeah. a white and gray marble right that a man that would be sweet that would be beautiful right on let there be All light right. yeah man 
What do y'all think, awesome. folks? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let and us crush know. Crush the like button. Yeah. Yeah, how about some likes? And there? if you really like it, share it with your friends. That's how Rhonda grows. Sharing is caring. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, a couple announcements really quick. So, you guys know we are extending our free shipping on all orders over $100. Guys, it has been so awesome, and I'm so excited to be able to bring that to you. And, um, and you're way quicker. You're fast. That's let me tell you something. We do same-day shipping if you order before noon. And I'm just about, I can ship anywhere um, across the U.S. And I'm telling you what, the most it's ever really taken people to get my product is like three days. Unless there's an issue with FedEx or something. But That's yeah, awesome. it's been amazing. So check out our website, rk3designs.com. Also, sign up for our newsletter on the website because we will be releasing pretty soon... Uh, working with this big guy here, uh, uh, our 2023 class schedule, along with some extra fun things that we're going to be throwing in. Mm, yeah, we've, we've got a big project coming up in October, guys. I cannot wait to tell you what it's going to yes. be. It's going to be a road trip, and it's going to be fun. Um, okay. All righty, guys. Well, Keith, I have enjoyed you so much being here wow. all week. Yeah. Uh, you have been a just a hoot. You know, we have really bad flies. Has anybody seen that bug that tried to get his ear? Yeah, y'all need to check yeah, that, that out. Be <laughs> nowhere, nowhere. All right, is also, safe. guys, we want to invite you to our uh, RK3 Designs Epoxy Insiders. It is growing so fast, and there are so many talented uh, members in that mm -hmm. group. There's so many people in there that will help you answer questions. It is just growing by leaps and bounds, and we are so excited to see all of the talent. So join that on Facebook, and I guess that's it. Do yeah. you have anything you want to say? No, I just, again, want to talk in the classes again. I come down, I meet all those students. I met Keith. You come as strangers and you leave as family. I gave my phone number out to more than half the class. They are awesome. They're pumped and ready to go make some epoxy projects, yeah. and you're starting them off on the right foot. Right. Which, which helps the entire epoxy industry. So, so keep up that work. Are you going to come visit again in November? I'm going to be back for the pro class in November, November guys. right before Thanksgiving. Right. We only have, I don't know, five or six uh, spots available. So check that out. It's going to be amazing. Don't miss it. And it's, and it's my birthday. Oh, it's oh. Kenny's birthday. My birthday is Thursday. 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 Yep. So, so everybody give Rhonda 29. some love. She's going to be... Now I'm going to be 58, y'all. 58 years old. Anyway, so... That's right. <laughs> anyway, so go check out our calendar on our website. we got a lot of fun things fun coming. Stuff. All right, Mr. Keith, you have anything to say? Tell everybody how they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, KCDC Designs. Be sure and look me up. Uh, I'm located out of Eagle, Nebraska. I uh, would love to work with you. Um, this past week has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'm going to get choked up talking about it, so I'll just say it's it's been amazing. <laughs> Classes, right. absolutely amazing. Keith's one of the most, I mean, we found Keith, we, we ran into Keith on social media just because of his projects. He shares them, he tags people. We're running across amazing artists all the time, but what sets Keith out amongst the rest is his willingness to help other people. Absolutely. No matter what 100%. product you're mixing up, He's going to help you. It doesn't have to be Stone Cold. It doesn't have to be whatever. He's going to help you go down the right track. Follow Keith. Listen to his advice. He's pretty much spot on, just like Rhonda. He's a pretty smart Thank dude right there. Thank you, guys. All right, oh. guys. Oh, we just had a fly. Good. That's the guy who was attacking Round me all That's day. Right. Enjoy your death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I think it's time for us to go. All right. Love you guys. You should leave them in there. Check us out. Jurassic uh, Park. On Facebook, YouTube, all the things. And until next week, remember, don't, don't be, scared. be scared. Move, Move forward. forward and be, be creative. creative. And from Stone Cold Countertop Family, Till next time, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next live video. All the videos. Subscribe to Rhonda. Subscribe to Keith. And subscribe to, subscribe to Stone Cold. You <laughs> got right, this. All right, guys. Bye. Thank Adios. You, Thank you, Rhonda. I'm getting this fly. Ooh. I can't watch him suffer. No, poor little guy. He's going to die anyways. Bye, poor Felicia. little guy. Bye.
Alicia.